lobster, shrimp, crab, the cornbread. Back in the day, that used to be slave food. That used to be what they would give the slaves to eat. Mm. And, and it's like nutritional value for cornbread, ass, genetically modified food. Keep you just dumb. Keep you dumb and stupid, bro. Get good dopamine rush, keep you happy. That's what we've been talking about. That's what we just talked about with Tristan, bro. If you don't protect the temple, bro, you bro. can't operate. They keep you dumb, weak, and stupid. No, no, you don't drink tap water, right? No, hell no. It's like horrible for you. Heavy metal toxicity, aluminum. I told him, bro. Fluoride. Tate has a point when he says like still waters for peasants. He's not meaning he's not meaning still bottled water. He means your bullshit water that you find from the for tap. Water. Yeah, free that, water. Yeah, the free water, the peasant water. Also, it actually moving water, like in Ayurvedic medicine and like Eastern medicine, mm. the fact that water on the tap moves so much, yeah. that it's not good. My friend puts it in a glass jar and then he lets no. it sit for two days and he puts yeah. it in the sun for Fire. sun exposure to kill the chlorine. Fire. Yeah. We have, I'll send it to you Luke as well bro, you need this shit, especially if you guys do like coffees and teas. We have two machines that we put our water through. The first one is like a carb carbon filtration and then the second one is a reverse osmosis. So it basically purifies, yeah, cleans absolutely. all the yeah. bro. Life changer. I used to have so much brain fog, I cleaned up my water no and no GMOs bro. No Changed my life. Bro, this is like optimized at a completely different level. When I sit with the billionaires in Puerto Rico, I ask them, what's your one piece of advice? Health, 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 health. Oh, All of them. Health. Yeah. All of them. That's the difference between a peasant and a king. Bro, do you think the peasants ate the same food that the kings ate? No. Do you think they got the same education the kings did? No. There you go. On purpose. <laughs> Gotta keep people weak, dumb, and alone, bro. Bro, bro, even I was telling him, this is why this is why I appreciate the Tate fam. They do everything together as a squad. When was the last time when you were in school that they put you in problem solving methodology in a group scenario? They don't. They want to keep you isolated, dumb, yeah, alone, yeah, yeah, afraid, cool. naked, gross, depressed, suicidal, GMOs, fat as fuck, yeah. angry. It's absolutely insane. So yeah, dude, Hold I'm on. telling you, G. Oh. What can I actually eat? Because bro, my diet is terrible, bro. Like. I eat it every single day. You know, the thing is though, you ask these questions, I feel like you already know the basic answers. Mm -hmm. You eat McDonald's every day. You know not to do that. So you're trying to get into the specifics yeah. without covering the basics, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like when people yeah. care about fitness, they're like, okay, what's the exact correct technique to lift this and lift that? People who don't train at all, just go running and do some push-ups. Everyone knows like the answers. Mm. Step one, Stop eating McDonald's every day. Yeah. Like that, that, it, once you do that, worry more about the exact specifics of what you're eating and what you're not. What I would say something's really good is always being conscientious of what you eat. So at all times in my life, I have some sort of dietary restriction, right? So I diet, I limit some sort of thing. So right now, like I, I, I limit high fructose corn syrup, like processed sugars. I don't do any of that garbage. I don't do caffeine. So I limit my, my diet. Why? So every time I eat, I'm, I'm conscious. Bro, think about the most basic common things that everybody has. Eating, sleeping, exercising, the most basic element. When was the last time, bro, that you were like, I feel hungry, I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna diet, I'm gonna fast. On a plane, I can move. So let me tell you this one, bro. What if what you're experiencing isn't actual hunger? What if what you're experiencing is addiction? Holy shit, you're right. Cause you're training your brain, bro. Like your wait, wait, wait. Don't hold on, hold on. But like my, my lifestyle, like I'm always like out and about. I'm never yeah. really home to like cook. So you like- You have to be home and cooking, bro. It's about being aware. Like maybe when you feel like, mm, I'm gonna go to McDonald's or I'm gonna go to Taco Bell, maybe it's not that you're hungry. Maybe your body's craving the poison, bro. What if the food is designed specifically to make you an addict? Then that is a perfect example. Coca-Cola. Is Coke, would you say it's sweet or is it salty? Sweet. Perfect. Guess how much sodium is in Coca-Cola? A lot. Why? Because it's addictive. Only, not only that, why? What does salt do? It makes you thirsty, bro. It dehydrates you and makes you drink more. They purposely put a lot of salt, sodium in it, for you get thirsty to drink more, and then they put sugar to cover it up. Dude, we'll go but it's not the best. Let's be devil's advocate here. Yeah. All right, you guys are telling us to send all this information, but guess what, you're gonna die anyway. So what? But, what? Here's, but here's the thing, is how do you want to live? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not how do you want to die, it's how do you want to live? Like, do you want to wake up brain fog, like an accident fucked up? Or do you want to wake up in a scenario where you're, where you're feeling empowered to take over, to conquer? Think about, think of how delusional it is to wake up tired. Yeah. What's the whole fucking point of sleep? It's to wake up rested. But motherfuckers are out here eating at two in the morning. Your body only has X amount of energy, right? That it can expend. So the question is, is it going to expend the energy on repairing your body or expend the energy on digesting the food? Mm. You can't do both. 
So at nighttime, you gotta let your body actually rest. That's why after six, seven, eight p.m., you should not be touching food, bro. Avoid breakfast. Yeah. Fuck breakfast. So, so let me tell you about the breakfast diet. Have you heard of a guy called Edward Bernays? No. Holy so shit. Edward Bernays is known as the father of propaganda. The meat industry came to Edward Bernays, who was known as the father of propaganda, pushing propaganda campaigns, and said, we need to push more sales of bacon, more sales of meat. Oh, can, yes. can we figure out how to introduce meats into the breakfast diet? So they built an entire marketing campaign behind breakfast being the most important meal of the day. It skyrocketed sausage sales, bacon sales, hey. ham sales. Bro, breakfast wasn't a thing. They made it a thing. You want to know the craziest part? All the time. You know who's the nephew of, or the family member, I think of Sigmund Freud, one of these guys, of the guy from Propaganda, Edward Bernay. You know who's his family member? Bill Gates. The founder of Netflix. Hey, what is Netflix, bro? It's propaganda media. machines, bro. Propaganda it's all propaganda machines, bro. Wow. It's, I'm telling you, bro, the matrix is so fucking deep. You gotta start like re, re, oh, reassessing everything. And there's a really good verse in the Bible that says, when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yeah. You have to be able to put away things to become the, the next guy, bro. You gotta become the next level to get to the next level, bro. You gotta put away the bullshit foods. You're stronger than that, G. If you can't control what you put in your, in your body, then what can you actually control? So when I'm hungry, what do, what do I do? You ask yourself, do I need to eat? No, it's okay being hungry, G. You're not gonna die. So if I don't eat, one it burn like my muscle? Yeah, no, no. no. It depends. Your if body you go, will, if you go into a ketosis state, you start burning yeah. fat. Your body will, your body will adapt as you, the more you do it, the more your body will get efficient. The human, that's what we're saying. Potential is limitless, G. Like you can literally be whatever you want to be, bro. But you have to, you have to instill discipline. So you said that the billionaires, millionaires, all it focus on is Every health. Single, bro, biohacking is the biggest thing for success. Dude, what's the difference between you and another person? It ain't hard work, bro. Health. Bro, it's your ability, it's how, it's how your Endurance. operating system works. What do you want, a cheap bullshit CPU that can't process anything or you wanna be on fucking steroids, bro? 18, like 16 gigs of RAM, fucking going hard, ethernet cord, like attached. No, you gotta be optimized, dude. You gotta be optimized. You would, you would, I can guarantee you, if you were fucking shredded and you were healthy, you would be a lot richer. Well, the issue is not being shredded, bro. The issue is just being a by. It's, it's shredded is just a byproduct of your decisions, bro. Like all, all fat is, all fat is, is literally stored energy around your waist, bro. Instead, Bye, of, instead, body, of, expending, instead of expending that energy to to like develop your body, you just leaving it there. School teaches you, bro, but how to be poor. It's an indoctrination camp. It's an indoctrination camp based off of the Prussian school system, which is how to create laborers, not independent thinkers. Everything they teach you, analyze it. All of it, dude. Every single last bit of it. And I went through a hellish road to figure all this out. It took me like two years, bro. My family disowned me. It's like a really crazy scenario, bro. And, but you have to go through the path of truth, bro. And like this health perspective, it's the next level of the matrix that you have to unlock. If you wanna, if you wanna get to the next level, yeah, this is what people don't talk about. Well, because if you have the videos- Because people don't understand it, right? that people put value on the things that they can replace. Right now, just the end. And they take for granted the things that they cannot replace. You will not get a different, a new body. Right? What you have is what you have. Your body is the greatest piece of real estate you'll ever own. How are you gonna take care of it? You have two Lambos, you have a Rolls. What about the fucking Lamborghini? Walking Lamborghini, I need to see you as a fucking walking Lamborghini, not riding in a Lambo, be a fucking Lambo. KFC, talk about all this shit, bro. It is designed deliberately to destroy you. It is tools of the matrix put in place to destroy you. And the something that's why I eat a lot of Michelin star restaurants and things of this nature. And why I only buy like or, organic canna, uh, cannabis and things of this nature. If it wasn't done with love, why would I consume it?